Hey guys, my name is Brian Curtis and I'm going to be showing you the Seraphim. This is our new brewer that we're uh, selling through Curtis. Um, and this is a batch brewer reimagined. Okay. When we developed the Seraphim, what we wanted to do was we wanted to um, break the mold a little bit with how batch brewers are perceived. And batch brewers are perceived as big old steel boxes. And we're sick and tired of being stuck on the back bar, we want to do the front bar. So we developed a brewer that's front bar worthy. So we got the name the Seraphim from our hometown, which is Los Angeles, the city of angels. The Seraphim is considered the highest order of angels, so why would we not name this the Seraphim? So what I'm doing here is I'm wetting the filter, just rinsing it out. So this is nothing more than a fancy batch brewer. Um, the components that are used in this brewer can be found in all of our other equipment. We have the brains of a gold cup brewer with the generation four technology. We have the brawn of our five gallon water tower. And we use the pump out of uh, one of our uh, other coffee brewers made for office coffee. So we sell about 7,000 of those brewers a year, so we know that this pump works really well. Um, the only component that we had to create for this brewer is an atmospheric chamber within this head, and there's no moving parts. It's completely non-mechanical, so there's no real way for it to fail. Um, outside of that, every other single component found within the Seraphim um, is something that we already sell as spare parts. Um, so the interface that we've got here is our Generation 4 controls. This can be found on about a dozen of our brewers that we manufacture currently. Um, this screen right here can be, this literal screen can be taken out of here and placed into any of our other brewers in the same way around. Um, you can take this out of the Gold Cup brewer you've got now or your Thermopro and stick it in here. So the interface was designed to make brewing as easy as possible but also um, editing all the preferences. So you just get into programming, you enter your unique code, and now you can program your brewer. You can change the recipes, just hit edit, and change the pulse sequence time. Changing temperature is equally as easy if I wanted to bump it up or bump it down. That's all you gotta do. So we'll be brewing a Chemex today. Just gotta slide it under. It's like a table. Yeah, so you just put the coffee in there. How cool is that? Hit brew, it goes through a five second priming process where it uh, creates static head pressure as well as uh, creates a stable temperature in stite. And then it goes through the brew process. So using our patented spray heads, it drains water down on the coffee and gets amazing extraction. And all the while, while it's brewing, you get to talk to your customers. Fancy that.